The extreme physical impact of being a professional sports player has again been highlighted when South African rugby captain Jean de Villiers was ruled out of the 2015 Rugby World Cup as a result of serious injuries. While many sports players may have arranged appropriate insurance to cover the extremely expensive medical fees and income replacement required during recovery time, other players such as those at university or school level may not have this privilege. Joining me to discuss this and other aspects of sports insurance is Dave Honeyman, Executive Head at SHA Specialist Underwriters. Dave, thank you so much for the time. I've never actually heard of sports insurance. How does it work and, and what does it actually cover? Well, sports insurance is there to cover some of your professional sports players for income protection insurance for in the event that they get injured or if they suffer a, an illness that restricts them from playing their respective sports. Mm. So it's really aimed at ensuring that they can continue with a lifestyle of income should they be restricted from playing that sport. Mm. Um, so you would have three different levels of that. You would have your typical sort of income protection if they're going to be out for a short period of time. Um, and then you have your career ending cover which is aimed at more those injuries that would restrict the player from performing that sport for the rest of their life um, and being unable to earn an income from that sport again. And then the third cover being what we call a catastrophic disability cover, which would be an injury that would restrict that player from being able to perform any occupation following rugby. You know, so it could be a, a serious head injury or a spinal cord injury or a brain injury that would restrict them from earning any income. Go is this only uh, for professional players, however? No, not at all. You know, so obviously linking the income would be linked to a professional only, but a sports insurance product is available for anybody you know, who participates in a sports. And in fact, you know, we are involved in designing insurance policies for children who partake in the likes of rugby, football, crickets, um, because there's a lot more, I, I think, pressure on some of the younger players uh, playing sports today. So, you know, everybody wants to be the next Bafana Bafana star or the next Springbok, um, and potentially some parents putting some pressure on them um, to be that next sports star. Um, so the games become a lot more physical. The guys want to impress at a young age. Um, so their bodies start taking a beating from a very young age, um, which is why you can see some of the injuries coming through in the World Cup now, where over 16 players have already been ruled out of this current World Cup. Um, so. I mean, at this point, it's also difficult to ascertain, especially for varsity students or perhaps even for, for high school students, just how, how do you quantify what they're worth insurance-wise, yeah. um, you know, if they do have an injury of sorts? I think more the, the, the younger players, you're almost looking at what would the cost be of you becoming disabled going forward? Forget about what you're going to earn, okay? So let's just take a guy who's sort of 16, 17, mm. becomes a quadriplegic. Um, when, when, when the scrum collapses. Yeah. Now, the cost of continuing the lifestyle of that 16-year-old for the rest of their life, which could be for another 60, 70 years, is massive. And a lot of families are not insuring against that and ensuring that they have some form of protection to look after the financial strain that would be on that family should their son, daughter, become disabled at a very young age. So the advice then is, as soon as they start doing sports, best thing to do is to get sports insurance. Yeah, I mean, you think of the rest of the world where, you know, your English Premier League football players, all your American football players um, and, and sports stars all have sports insurance. Mm. In South Africa, it's not a very well-known, very well-sold form of insurance. And I think it's important that we start educating a lot of us young sports stars as to what the insurance requirements are. So, you know, from a very young age, we want to start getting some sports products into, the, um, yeah. into their lifestyle so that they can understand the importance of that going forward. Very quickly, a range in, in, with regards to the cost? Um, at, at a non-professional level, about 50 rand a month for a million rands worth of disability cover. Well, certainly interesting enough. Dave Honeyman, Executive Head at SHA Specialist Underwriters, as we talk sports insurance. While many of the country's urban dwellers may soon